Welcome back to 10 Targets Detecting. My name is Camille and this is the channel where I try and find tangled targets. My regular subscribers may no notice something different about me. Usually I am sporting a cap, but today I have my SunSmart MindLab headphone hat. They sent me because I won a competition one time. They sent me a whole lot of prizes and this was one of them and I do enjoy it. I do like it. It is very good on hot days. Look, I'm going to be working a little area. Um, it's quite quiet, but I'm expecting it to get a little bit noisy. I'm looking for a variety of targets. Uh, 10 different things would be great. Who knows what we're going to find? Fingers crossed. Let's get into it. And uh, thanks for joining me on the journey. I'm going to let you listen quickly because there's people around. I don't like to disturb them, but look at the depth. Three bars, four bars that it's a little bit clip clop but but I don't mind let's go I don't know if I can do it together but because the ground is wet this oh yeah wet this morning I can get in what we're not being able to do is uh this close to tree roots if uh, I've got to work a few roots I will not ruin my shovel. Okay, let me just open that up and then I'm going to turn you straight back on and we'll find it together. Look at these roots. I've been pulling out handfuls and handfuls under here and my pinpointer is, I'm up to about the last, I reckon. Um, is showing, oh, look, I can see. I can see it. See there? Look at that, under the roots. My, and it, it, I don't have the smallest of hands. Let's one more pull, I reckon. Yeah, so deep, mm, kangaroo, what was it, 70 something, oh gosh, not great condition, far out, uh, yeah, there's the kangaroo, oh, I can't see any dates, we will uh, try and clean that up and, you know, they're usually crusty and I usually have to tumble these to get much definition. Um, that's what I like to do. You bloody beauty. Look what came out of the hole. So it was a it was a sketchy sort of shape, right? And I'm like, that was the first bit I just dug. And that was just the, the penny, right? Pack that back in. Look at this. I'm going to come around. I freaking just stabbed at it because this is what was in the hole. But can you actually see that? Ah! Jesus. Oh, no these you've got to be so delicate anyway what in the hell is the metal on this what is going on don't tell me it's like a plastic water pistol and i thought oh my god i got a cap gun oh no she's got a she's got a oh what was it you guys couldn't hear hmm anyway oh, i am just going to keep that like that until i run that underwater Okay, move on. I couldn't resist. Yeah, run it underwater. Yeah, you keep it like that. No, I wasn't going to put that in my pouch. So I gently, with two hands, pulled it um, apart. And it, look, it's quite new. It's one of those, uh, you know, put those in. And oh, look, it even rolls. I don't care. I found it. I'll put it with my gun display. Let me show you it. Here's some of my uh, guns that I found from the teeny tiniest. And I found other complete guns and yeah the dick trace is pretty cool and a rifle um that was my first actually ever found find of a cap gun and it's locked in that position then in this display um i've got oh yes just throw lighters in with these <laughs> i've got uh some other guns some pieces that sort of thing and it's all gladly because the traffic has started up Early morning, we don't have anything, and now we do. We're having a, a, a lot of traffic coming through. This is ring pull numbers. I don't know if it's something. You know what I mean? Like, what could this little thing be? But uh, that, off an earring? Don't know, she's pretty. There's like a greeny something on this side. Anyway, oh, actually lower than ring pull. It's 29, 30 ring pulls in the, a bit, a bit higher than that often in the 40s this is like 29 
Interesting. Let's wait and see how that cleans up. Oh, I should have done a live dig because it just sounded too good. It was two bars down, popped out, just like the others. I always find kangaroo pennies, but this one, this one might be not as crusty as the last. Don't know. Do we? Can't get on this side. It must have been like that in the dirt. Anyway, I'm going to try and do a live dig with the noisy traffic. Stand by. Here's our live dig together. Hey, this was similar to that, that penny, those high, yep, both ways, high, target ID, couple of bars, let's do it together, and fingers crossed for a silver coin. Yeah. 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 Sort of wet on top, as I said in my intro, but dry underneath, right? Just reveal yourself, silver coin. Come on. Always hopeful. What? This. Oh. What do you reckon that's off? Hmm. Don't know, but uh, gave a good signal, didn't it? Of course, when I don't do a live dig, target ID 65, 67, is that the imprint? I'm not sure. There it is. I haven't actually touched it, but I can see it's a half penny. Oh, much better condition, except we can't see this side. We don't know the year until we give it a clean. Oh gosh, it's a hard slog in between this. I have dug a handful of ones and two cent pieces. I uh, should have turned you on because this was 67. I actually thought it might have been a $2 coin, mm, which is not usually part of my 10 targets. I like variety. If you're new to my channel, I love to find 10 different sort of targets. Sometimes a bit of silver, some pre decimals. Oh, anyway, moving on. Well, this giant piece of heaviness comes in at 90 target ID. I just was curious, so I. Uh, it was very shallow, so I dug it. 82 target ID. You think, oh, possibly going to be a two cent piece, but it's not. We still keep digging those sort of two cent piece numbers because half pennies can still come in at a similar target ID. Into the pouch. Here's an example. So where my shovel was, is, where my shovel is, was a two cent piece. Where my foot was, was that half penny we just found. And this... What do you think? It's going to be a live dig. But Murphy's Law tells me it'll be another two cent piece. At least we can get in, okay? Yep, one more. And the verdict in that dry old soil. Um, cannot see, and I cannot, oh, nearly could not reach my pinpointer on that funny angle. This is when I don't mind a noisy pinpointer, because when it's so noisy, oh, we're in here. Noisy traffic. Oh my God, of course. It's not good. It's this, but these things do ring up. When you have a nail in with something like this, you're, you're reading this bit. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, the curse of a live dig today. Listen to this one together, guys. 70, 72, one cent piece numbers, right? Two ways, let's have a look. One cent piece or not? <coughs> Gotta dig those numbers. It's just that simple. And look where I'm working. Ready, 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 ready. Dead underlines. What does that tell me? I need to sort of noise cancel, pay attention to my EMI, those sort of things. Oh, why am I talking? Let's get a dig. Oh, I might need two hands. Let's see how we go. Yeah. I do have to put up 
with a little bit of chatter from the manticore, but because I've set my tones at my desirable, what I like my ears are adjusted to, it does go ping, like we just heard how that's that target ID of 70 whatever. Oh, I've given myself a small little hole in this dirt. I think it's a one cent piece because so shallow. So I think it's a small target, but you never know. Stay positive, could be a silver. Let's do a back, Ooh. a back dig, a back wall. Can't see anything. That's not unusual. Ah, brown bugger. One cent piece, that's okay. We will keep going. That is the only one cent piece I'm going to show you. This is actually, uh, this was ring pull numbers. So 39, sort of 40. I was uh, not expecting. We've got a little bit of a buckle. So I'm going to be careful. Just pulling it out. Could be part of a handbag. Could be part of a belt. Whoa. Just loosen all of it, eh? So look what's going on. Pack it back in. She'll be right. Mm, looks pretty trashed. I'm just going to pull it. Oh, it would have gone on forever. Could be part of a collar. Oh. Ta-da! Could be a bit of a small dog collar or a cat collar. Don't know. Anyway, keep on moving. This is uh, ring pull numbers. 39.40-ish on the manticore. It is a 20 cent piece. But I uh, saw that it is a commemorative one I have never seen before. Maybe, well, maybe it's not from this country, actually. Hang on, hang on. I've never seen it. There's a 20 down there. Where are you from? Oh, you are Australian. I've just never seen it. Oh, well, very interesting. Very, very interesting. 2001, it says on the right-hand side. But look at it. It's always fun. Clean that up. Yeah, nice. Guys, I've seen it. Listen to this. Okay. Beautiful, right? Just under the tree, I just lifted it up and I can see it's a, a ring, right? It's a ring. Now, I just want to show you something. If the ring was on this angle, let's have a look. Look at what happens. Isn't that interesting? It's got to be this way for it to read nicely. So, what sort of ring is it? 80 something. So, 80 sometimes is sometimes um, is sometimes silver, of course, stainless steel. I can't pop that out. She's oh, there, there we go. Nope. No. Anyway, that's okay. My big gloves and fingers can't get in there right now. That's okay. I'm going to put that safely in the pouch. We'll try and do a live dig next. Check this out guys. So we got a bit of a clip pop, but look at that terrible splodge. What sort of, just there actually. Let's have a look. To investigate that, I'm thinking some type of, like a bolt or a screw or something like that. Small pinpoint, right? Let's have a look. So, does the 2D screen tell us that we should just keep walking and leave it, or should we investigate? Ta-da! That. That's what it was telling us. That this piece of rubbish. <laughs> so, we could have kept walking. Oh, but I'm always so curious. What about you? What do you think of this one? 69, 70. 69, 70. 
what comes in at 69.70 is silver coin. Consistent. Isn't it? But bottle caps, metal crap. Is that that way? I cannot remember. Oh, we're in the, the rocks under these couple of trees. And this one, my hands are um, a bit dusty actually. My hand, when these get a bit dusty, I lose a bit of grip. I need grip. I need a grip on my tiger digger. Oh my goodness. Oh. Great to get a silver. Deeper. Okay, I'm going to have another swing. Locate it exactly, pinpoint. And uh, if in doubt, you go deeper, don't you? So guys, I opened it up a little bit and I have not touched it, but I can see the edge. So 65, oh yes. Half penny. Did I hit it? No, it's crusty though, this, Jesus. She's a crusty one. The pennies just are a little bit crusty that I'm finding in the ground lately. Um, I think it's a half penny. I can't even see a kangaroo, just the shape of it. Uh, that way, I think. Oh my gosh. It's gotta tumble these guys to get some definition. That's what I do. Electrolysis is good too. What do you do? Anyway, I'll move on. Look at this from the hole. It's glass, but the pinpointer reacted to it because it's got wire in it. So is that like some sort of a security glass? I thought it might have been like a part of a compass or something, but it's a, I think it's like part of a thick window. I don't know, but uh, I found it very interesting. So I thought I'd share it. This was a really low number, um, I think in the twenties. And I was like, yes, a ring. And it's not, it's just one of those, like an off cut or something, but it oh, gets your heart pumping when you think it's a, another ring anyway that's what we've got digging these low numbers low being it was in the 20s for the manticore all right moving on okay yeah i'm digging low numbers i've got my horseshoe on but i'm also finding high numbers sounds good right let's go two ways consistent okay Let's hope we've got ourselves something that can go towards one of our 10 targets. Just, well, I'm finding a lot of rubbish. You know what's gonna be good? Coming back here with the M8 quill. Just for this, these areas under the trees where I am, it's super trashy. So when it's so trashy, what do we do? We bring out the M8 coil. Been down. I wouldn't imagine if it was a ring. Mm, it's not a ring, like a person's ring. It's a, oh, it's a wheel off a car, off a toy. That's what it is, don't be rough. Looks like it could be a wheel. All right, that's pretty cool, promising. You know, cars. That'd be nice to find a little old Lesney. Aeroplanes, love me an aeroplane. All right, move on. Now I've looked closely at this. Okay, so this is what caught me, this double jumping, right? And a nice high tone, high target ID. And I went down and I went, oh, is it a washer? Look, it's got a hole in it, right? And then I've looked a bit closer. I think I see in Australia. I do, see this way? Just where my foot, look, just around there says Australia. Someone has made their own washer out of a 1949 half penny. She's a surface find. That is dead on the surface. Just goes to show you, look at the dirt that just washes away. See, that's one of our 10 targets. I love these sort of unique things. I wanna know the story. Why did they do this? Who did it? What did they do that for? What were they using the washer for? I just love a bit of a story. And this coin has a story. It's another surface wide. I'll just show you quickly, because I can see it. See? It's 
one ten piece just on the surface. I think some dirt has been washed away from here. Mm, they go blue, don't they, when they're on the surface? All right, blue tinge. That is not one of our ten targets. Let's go. Can you see this with the glare? I don't know. It's a uh, high eighties, nineties, and this way might be better. Three, four bars deep, right? Desirable. On the desirable line. Can we do a, a live dig? We're getting up to our the end of the video now. So cannot. I need two hands to get in that deep. It's actually not that deep. I've got it. The pinpointer on the. Oh, I can see here. Just see. It's a coin. Wasn't that deep. So, what's that telling me? We have a penny, not in great condition. Hmm. From that monarch, it must be a, a kangaroo penny. Um, but it was saying four or five bars. I'm going to close this over, have another swing, and see if there's uh, anything else. Okay. You can see with the glare. It's a 70, 69. I like it. Is it consistent? It's a bit lower. Does that worry me? No. Because listen, sounds amazing. Sounds good. Don't jinx it. Yep. Let's try our best for a live dig. Let's go, because we are nearing the end of the video. I'm happy with the find so far. The only thing that keeps eluding me each video, but that's okay. I haven't found any big silver for a little while. That's okay too. My plan is to come back to this area with the M8 coil. This is not three bars. Ugh. Please don't be a one cent piece. Oh, look at that. I'm actually going to, let's just see. I took my glove off this hand to get the dirt. I had a whole lot of dirt inside my glove. So, oh, come on. It's definitely oh. deeper. Deeper down there. Let me just put my glove on for a second. Stand by. Okay, now where were we? We were a bit deeper. Oh no. Where? Oh! I think. So. I saw it. I saw it. I was just talking about my lack of silvers and now we have a thrippence. But this was not. Oh gosh, not great condition. This was not what my pinpointer, what my pinpointer was going deeper, or was it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, see? Oh, although, look, actually, let's just have another swing so we know what we're looking for, because there's, there's glass. Three pants. Oh, we got a high, we still got another high tone. So let's do it together, if we can get a live in for the last. I would be very happy and I'm going to be careful not stab away because if there's a silver coin there might be another coin or something else equally good. Small pinpoint. Yes. Gosh, not great condition. It's another little thrip. This is all I'm finding. I've not found a big silver for ages. Let's have a look. We have a year. So that was ringing up high because of the silver content. We have a 1940 silver thrippence. I give these a little rub with a bicarb paste. Some people like to use lemon juice. I find the bicarb just brings it up nice. I'm going to have one more little pinpoint. Uh, actually, let's just have one more swing. And we're in all metal. I'm happy. I'm gonna close this up. And uh, you know what? I think it's time to say goodbye. If you've got to this point in the video, it is my outro. It's the time I say goodbye and thank you so much for watching. I'm going to take these 10 targets, get them home, get them washed up. Found a variety of things. I'm happy with this hunt. My son's smart hat kept me safe and, and not burnt. But uh, 
you know what? Time to go home. So this turned out to be a modern toy. It says detective special down here. Oh, but it, you know, still pretty cool. I thought it was all right. Like rub these and rub these. I couldn't get all that black off. But look at this guy, nice and shiny, 1940. This turned out to be something that might be off. Another bit of jewelry. That was that low number. See the back brochy thing? I'm not sure, was that on a ring? Was it part of a necklace? Now the ring, the ring when I cleaned it up, looks gold. And inside here was a number, which for a moment I thought may have been nine, but I'm pretty sure it's probably just a size. Six. I can't see it like this, but I did. When you look at it with a, ma a magnifying glass, I have a special little thing I can see with. Oh, there it is, over that side. Very hard. Anyway, I thought it was gold. I didn't mind finding this either. That was the 2001 Centenary of Federation, a very unique and uh, coin that was only made in that one year, 2001. The crusty old pennies need to get in the tumbler. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.